Today we are going to talk about how to edit a single line text in file with Ansible. Ansible module learning file. I'm Luca Burton and welcome in today's episode of Ansible Pilot. Today we are talking about Ansible module learning file. The full name is ansible.builtin. Learning file, which means that is part of a collection of module built in with Ansible and shipped with it. It's a module pretty stable and out for years, and it supports a large variety of operating systems. You are able to insert, update, and remove a single line of text in a file. This module has some parameters to perform any tasks. The only required is path, where you specify the file system path of your file you are going to edit. Line is the line of text we would like to insert in file. Easy. By default, the text is going to be inserted at the end of a file but we could personalize in a specific position with insert after, insert before, and specify the regular expression. If there is any tool to validate the file, we could specify in the validate parameter, very useful for configuration files. If the file does not exist, we could also create it. Usually, we would like to insert text line, but we could also remove using state in conjunction with parameter absent. Let me also highlight that we could also specify some permission or say Linux properties. Are you ready to make your hands dirty? Let's jump in a live demo of Lining File Module Usage in Ansible Playbook. And welcome to my console. So today, for example, we would like to enable password authentication for SSH. So let me start with a YAML document. So free dash, then name, learning file, module demo. Let's target hosts all. And we need a, the privilege escalation set to true because we are going to modify a system file. So, and then in the task list, let's start with a name and for example, allow password authentication. It seems very descriptive. And then the module, so ansible.builtin.lining file well, let's specify the file, no, sorry, the state, so state present, because we would like this line to be present. Destination is the path of the file, etc, ssh, sshd, underscore config file. Then let's specify the line, in my case uh, is uh, with the first letter uppercase, password authentication yes with a, with a, a in common style so password authentication yes then let's add also the validation of uh, the configuration file so let's specify validate in my case for ssh is sshd minus t minus f and percent s is uh, the path of a file that is going to be substituted automatically with ansible and here it is this is a playbook that is going to edit the etc ssh sshd inserting the password authentication And welcome to my console. Let me first uh, connect to the target machine with a user used by Ansible, so DevOps, sudo su, 
and uh, let me take a look of ATC, SSH, SSHD config. I'm going to scroll down to see where the password authentication parameter it is, and here we are. Password authentication, no. As you can see, so now we would like to execute our playbook and change this parameter. So we need to exit the less utility with a Q and then exit also from the remote <coughs> workstation. Let me execute the playbook like usual with ansible dash playbook minus C my inventory file and the lining file dot YML that we already created. So let's see that Ansible is gathering the facts and do perform some changes in the target machine because we have in yellow some changes. Let me connect again to the target host and uh, switch from normal user to root and take a look again on uh, the SSH file. I'm expecting that the password authentication parameter is switching to from no to yes, but hey, wait a minute, we have a no here and a yes in the end of a file that wasn't exactly the expected behavior. So let me show you with a grab utility. So let me search for grab password authentication inside ATC SSH SSHD config. Oh, I did a typo on password. So let me return back and boom, there is two parameters one a no and one a yes that creates some confusion for SSH. Let me fix it in the code. Back on my editor, let's see that we could accomplish this uh, using uh, one parameter that is regex, which is able to specify the regular expression. In my case, uh, which is means uh, start with password authentication. So the expected result is each line that start with password authentication, let's turn to password authentication, yes. And welcome back to my console. First of all, let me connect to the target host and take a look on the SSH config file. We need to sudo as a root user because this like before, let's remove uh, the last line for password authentication, yes, because uh, otherwise there will be some misconfusion. One parameter will, was uh, yes and one no, and now there is only a no parameter, as you can see from the grab result. Let me exit the machine and run my new Ansible playbook. So ansible-playbook minus e, my inventory file, and uh, my playbook for lining file with uh, regular expression in it. I'm expecting a change in status. Here we are. Perfect. Let me connect to the target machine and verify the result of this file edit. Here we are. Let's switch uh, to root user and let's do a grab. Mission accomplished. Password authentication, yes, correct. Now we need only to restart the SSH daemon to have this new setting. Now you know better the Ansible module lining file and you could use successfully in your playbook. Subscribe to channel not to miss the next episode of Ansible Pilot.